Francis Cat, um, uh, Canadian Haunting and Paranormal Society, with a client, Pola. I, I was wording it out in my head. And uh, she's had some experiences in her house here. The team we have tonight is myself, Kathy, Dan, Carolyn, and Sheena. And um, this is a, I'm going to say Edward, Edwardian, not Victorian house, because it was built after 1900. Yeah, 1905. And, yeah, it's a three-story, if not a bit more. It's uh, quite a nice house, but the, the uh, resident has had some unusual behavior or some unusual stuff going on. Uh, can you just tell us what's been going on? Um, yeah, so we're hearing uh, light footsteps in the hallway upstairs. Um, I've seen uh, a woman, um, young, I guess maybe late 20s, early 30s, blonde in a Victorian nightgown up in my bedroom. Um, both, both of my children, we hear the noises, the mm -hmm. footsteps in the hallway. Um, I've heard this door close, open and close, mm -hmm. while we were upstairs and nobody was in the house. So just a little, little bits here and there, and also the animals uh, have a tendency to watch um, up, and they're not necessarily freaked out. They're just observing something that we're not seeing. And when did you move here? Uh, moved in on the 29th of August of this year, 2019. Okay. And then we started noticing probably about a week after we moved in. Did you have any history on this house? Like, did the previous tenants tell you anything unusual was going on here? Or? No, no. Um, the only history that I know is the when it was built, who it was built by. Mm -hmm. um, but nobody said anything about um, any activity going on. And right now you have tenants downstairs, eh? Yes, I have uh, tenants in the basement and they've noticed a lot of activity going on in terms of um, seeing shadows, mm -hmm. uh, being touched, mm -hmm. um, things moving, yeah. uh, sounds being made. So. And how long have they been downstairs? They, uh, they've been in, um, this is the second month. So okay. they noticed it a couple of days after moving in. Okay. When did they mention it to you? Uh, just this week. Okay. Were they aware that chaps? I let them know you guys, guys were coming. Yeah, I okay. let them know you guys were coming today. Mm -hmm. So uh, I just wanted them to, you know, ask her to try to keep it down, or because they have a small child. Yeah. And uh, that's when. Uh, my tenant said, oh, you're seeing the ghost too, good. <laughs> so they hadn't mentioned it until you had asked them, yeah. told them that we were showing up today. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, um, we'll go around with our equipment and see what we can do, and you're going to accompany it a couple of days, so. Perfect. Okay, so we're good to go. Saturday, the 9th of November, 2019, and Chaps Paranormal is at a uh, residence in Pembroke private residence and it's had some unusual uh, sounds of walking up and down the hallway. The team tonight is myself, Kat, uh, Kathy, Carolyn, Dan, and Sheena. So we're going to go lights out, see what we can find. What we'll do is we'll ask like, a series of questions I'll get you to ask as well. So, is there anyone, um, any previous resident of this house that's been trying to communicate with Pola and her family. They've been hearing um, sounds of walking up and down this up and down the hallway upstairs and then the animals are looking into this room. Is this a room where you used to used to eat? Was this your dining room? Was this the house where you, that was me? Is this the house where you raised your children? Are you Dr. Delaney? Was this your house? Or are you a member of Dr. Delaney's family? If you if you're here, we've got some audio equipment and we've got uh, lots of cameras. Can you try and make a sound? Even if we can't hear your voice, can you try and make a sound and we'll pick it up on that, that uh, recording machine? Did somebody open this cupboard here? 
No. Okay. Oh. I just, I was, I just went to go that way and I bumped into it. I just figured somebody opened it. Well, 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 it does. We'll close it and we'll see if it happens again. Okay. Normally, you keep it closed. It's it. It doesn't close shut. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, but it, it's never swung open. I'm that gonna much, close it again and let's who knows, see what happens. I guess. Maybe a lot of movement. Could that have possibly been maybe the? I know you've heard the soft sound, but see, see, that's what it sounded like. That's what it sounded. So yeah. So that one comes open. But that's exactly what it sounded like. See, I'm not hearing what you're hearing because that thing's so sensitive. Yeah. All right. So uh, we have it on camera. We the, the one is closed and the other one's partially open, and we'll see what happens. Just want to add when my friend Janice is asking you questions, if you come near this device uh, to answer her, and these lights will go up to different colors, we'll know that you're nearby, just in case we can't hear your voice. Okay, Duke. Yep. Are you a woman? Did you appear to uh, pull out upstairs? Were you trying to communicate with her and tell her something? Was she in your room? Were you trying to kick her out of your room? Is your bedroom upstairs? Are you walking around at night in your home? Feeding went to walk from zero to one point one. Is that, is your name Elizabeth? I just went down, point nine. Is that you walking up and down the hall at night? 1.2, 1.3. One Did you die in this house? Were you Dr. DeLahey's wife? This. Yeah. So we're not sure um, with the readings on this machine. If you're here, can you just really make it obvious? Can you just get really close to that thing and just make a rip? Just make it go really high. Because sometimes it's going down to zero and sometimes it's up. So when they're telling the story, is that you that they're talking about? If you're the, the lady in the nightgown and this was your room and, and you're hearing a story being told about you, can you just go right near that machine or near the audio and just really try to make those readings go up? Because the closer you get, then the more the readings should go up. If that's, if you're not the lady, in the white nightgown. Can you step away from that and make the reading go right down? Are you someone else? Are you someone other than the lady in white? Um, or do we have uh, maybe Mrs. Joyner with us? So when Paula and her family hears you walking up and down the hallway, are you just are you just checking on the kids? Are you checking on your kids? Are you checking on the family that's here now? Is that why you don't like it when the doors are closed? Because you can't see them, make sure everybody's okay? I, I don't want you to be afraid of us asking you questions. I don't want you to be afraid of communicating with us. Nobody's trying to make you go away. Uh, it sounds like Paula and her family are very comfortable with your presence, but they'd like to know who you are. Um, and if there's something you need, something you want, um, but we can't help them get that information unless you communicate with us. So can you tell us your name? Um, <laughs> uh, you're quiet. 
great. Can you go in there and I want to shut the door and then you, I'm going to walk up and down and then you can let me know yeah. how like heavy or loud those are, okay? Okay, so this is our first one. You ready? Yeah. So it's not. Uh, I figured that. All right. All right. So I'm just going to walk with my normal weight. Like that? So that would be approximately the height and weight of a paddle, you know. Okay. Like really close to that? Yeah, the, uh, pretty similar. Not like the biggest one. No, I was just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, like, does it sound like it's all the length of the hallway? Uh, no, it's sort of like just here. Yeah. Like just stopping. I think it just kind of sounds like sort of like steps. Okay. So I'm going to. So you've been heard, you know, walking up and down the hallway at night, and we figure you are, you're checking on your family, maybe checking on the kids, uh, making sure everything is everything is secure and everybody's asleep and home before you go to bed. Um, but we don't know where everybody was sleeping when you lived here. So I'm going to walk up and down the hallway and I'm going to stop in front of each room. And if that's a room where you want me to check on somebody inside, can you come close and make the lights go up on this? Uh, maybe it was one of your kids' rooms, maybe it was your room, or maybe you had parents living with you as well, elderly parents. So if there's a room you want us to go in and check for you, can you let me know by making the numbers go up? I'm just going to literally just kind of walk up and down and just stand in front of each bedroom door. And if it's a room you would like us to check for you uh, to make sure everything's okay, just let me know and we'll, we'll go in there. Check on somebody at night to make sure they're okay. Can you tell me whose room this was? I mean, I'm a mom, so I get it. I do the same thing sometimes. If I sometimes I fall asleep before my son gets home from work, and I'll wake up in the middle of the night, and I'll actually get up and walk outside to his bedroom door to make sure he's home. So I get it. Uh, I totally understand why, as a mom, you would do that. But you just, if you could help us out. Oh, that's me. No. Shoot, forgot about that. Okay. <laughs> if you could do that again, walk right up to my friend, to my friend Sheena, make, make the numbers go up. Are you just uncomfortable with so many of us up here? Are we invading your your privacy and your space and you would rather we weren't up here? Are you curious with the electrical equipment that we're using because that's not your era. This is something extremely new for you. Don't be afraid of it. You can come and speak into my recorder in my left hand or come closer to my reader to make the numbers go up in my right. Just, the camera's driving me nuts. Sorry. So if you, if you came in and you checked out some of our equipment and played with it for a bit, thank you. Um, Again, none of it can hurt you at all, so that's why we left it here for you, so you could try and communicate with us or 
play around with it a bit. Did you make the lights go up on the device that was left here? Can you come and do it again for us? How about this? How about I'll make the lights go on really pretty and I want you to do it, redo what I just did. Can you do that for us again? One just sitting at one point three. One point four. Was this your bedroom? Feels like it's gone calm again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sitting at 1.3. Okay, well, we're going to go downstairs soon. If you if you shared anything with us, um, I'm going to thank you again. Um, you know, please understand that we we respect you and. Um, we are not trying to harm you in any way. We just want to talk to you. So if you, if you did talk to us, you did communicate with us, uh, thank you very much. Uh, if we have any messages uh, for the family, we will pass them on. Um, again, they just would like you to ask you to not, not to scare people, not to frighten the people in the basement. Um, don't frighten the baby down there. I don't think you do anything intentionally. just staying at 1.3 and then it just went up to 1.4 and it's just staying there. Do you have anything else you would like to say or ask before oh, we went down? went right down to zero. <laughs> no, not really. Not really? Yeah, not really. Okay. Just, uh, yeah, happy to share the house with you. I wonder would it be just for a couple minutes just to see if the K2 will go off again while we're out of the room, like last time? Yeah, we can Just do that. to see. No. Yeah, we, we can do that. Like, we can set the K2 and the audio up back up like I had before while we take down the cameras and stuff. Okay. Like, if we can leave this camera, we can take down... Close the door? Yeah, just right. Like, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. So we're going to do that. If I'm going to leave a couple of the pieces of equipment here again. If you want to play with them, check them out, please feel free to do so. You can't... Uh, you can't damage them and they can't hurt you in any way.